everyone. I'm Miss Orlando. I'm a first grade teacher at William Byrne. Glad to see you. I have a story for you today titled, The Very Quiet Cricket. In this story, there's a little cricket that wants to make the chirping so sound that crickets do, and so he rubs his wings together. When I read the part of him rubbing his wings together, I want you to do this and rub your little wings together. Let's find out what happens. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Did you do that? Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. There he is. He's getting bigger. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to the branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower? The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Look how big he's getting. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time, and this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Again, it was titled, The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. Take care everyone and I hope to see you soon.